Yo, this Q Richardson. You sitting here chopping it up with Jason Tatum and Tyler Hero. This is City Ties, New Era NBA City Edition. Yo, man, got the two young hot stars with me. What's good? Thanks for having us. Now, I got a question for both of y'all, man. Tell me, tell me each of you guys about Miami and Boston. What what is something that you guys, one of your favorite things about each of those cities? For me, I would say just the diversity of people. Everybody gets along well. There's different types of cultures and food out here. The beaches, the ocean, so it's, it's beautiful out here. You had the perfect, you know what I'm saying, swag and flavor with your game and your personality to match up with the with the city and the culture and the environment there in Miami. How do you feel you were received there? Because, I mean, you you one of the brightest stars on the team. I think you very well received. How, how do you feel you connected with the city and the fans? Uh, the fans are amazing. I think, you know, that's the biggest thing. When the fans, you know, you, you can relate with the fans. You know, the sky's the limit. And, uh, you know, I just, I just love being here. So, you know, it's amazing. I mean, er everybody love Miami, right? You know, we go to Miami right. in the off season. <laughs> uh, but I think my favorite part, my favorite part about Boston is just the passion that the fans have. They they truly have a passion for sports. You know, whether it's the Celtics, the Red Sox, the Patriots, they used to winning. They used to um, hanging banners, so they have a real high expectation. And uh, they're not shy about it. They're gonna let you know. But. You know, one thing is if, if you go out there and compete, the city of Boston, they, they love the Celtics. So um, just the, the passion that they show is probably my favorite part. What do you think is an underrated NBA city? Some, a city that people don't really talk about, it gets slept on a lot, but it's a, it's a dope city. He probably ain't even go to every uh, city since we stopped early. I haven't even, yeah, I ain't even been to every city yet. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Man, I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if other people think it's underrated, but I feel like Dallas, like Dallas is not necessarily like a big market, but that's like, a, I think that's a great place. They got great fans, you know, a great environment. Dallas is a great place to live. And they, they got the microphone in the inside the hoop. So when you shoot it, like, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the hardest environment? Which, which city you feel got the craziest, rowdiest fans? The toughest fans, man. Philly. Mmm, like Philly tough, huh? I done played Philly in the playoffs my first year and even in the regular season. My, my mom and pops almost got in a fight one, one game with the fans. They, uh, Philly, I like Philly fans, but they, they gonna let you know how they feel at the free throw line, taking the ball out. Walking back to the to the locker room. Oh yeah, they be wildin'. Philly be wildin' for sure. <laughs> Philly talk crazy to you. How do you keep a level head? You know, you had the you had the crazy game in the in the in the finals and the in the in the playoffs and you 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 explode and you twenty years old. You you know, you the cream cream of the crop right now. People want you. How do you how do you stay level headed with everything going on? Uh just uh, I mean, just staying, staying to who I am and, you know, where I came from um, and then the people around me. Uh, I feel like I got a great group, group of people around me in my circle so they can, you know, keep me level-headed. Head to NewEraCap.com, the only place to pick up a New Era NBA City Edition 5950.